is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Welcome back to News 5 at 5. There's a live look in Colorado Springs. We've got mostly cloudy skies with snow on the way later tonight. That's a live look from the Steel City. A few light showers earlier, now sun shining across Pueblo. And that's a live look from Woodland Park. Those clouds thickening and lowering. Going to see a nice new layer of snow up on Pikes Peak tomorrow morning. Here's our big weather story. A tornado, the first of the year, touching down across El Paso County. This one just uh, southeast of Falcon, about five miles southeast of Falcon. If you're just joining us, no reports of any injuries or damage with that tornado. And on the southwest side of town, had reports of some penny size hail just off to the west of Cresta Road. So a lot of excitement across the area today. Line of thunderstorms right now, but these thunderstorms have really weakened in the past 30 to 45 minutes. Still getting some pretty decent rain and also dangerous cloud to ground lightning. That's my biggest concern right now with these thunderstorms across far eastern El Paso County. That dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Always remember when you see lightning and hear thunder, get indoors as quick as you possibly can. Across the city, most neighborhoods are dry. The fortunate few getting a little bit of rain right now from the Powers Corridor, the Academy Corridor, all the way to the southeast side of town. That shower activity pushing off to the south and east. And again, just a few light showers across parts of Pueblo right Right now, those thunderstorms formed earlier this afternoon all along a boundary pushing down to the south, and you can see that line of thunderstorms really weakening here within the past 30 minutes. There's our main upper level support right there. You can almost see a little counterclockwise rotation within that uh, system right there. That's that main upper level energy providing some good lift in the atmosphere this afternoon to produce some rotating thunderstorms across northeastern El Paso County. Here's what happens for the rest of the night tonight through tomorrow morning, 6:30 tonight. We'll see some snow across far northern El Paso County, mainly along the Palmer Divide back into parts of Teller County and watch how that snow gradually pushes from north to south. Pretty intense cold front is going to be moving through later this evening. That colder air producing that snow across the area and by midnight tonight. A nice burst of snow across most parts of northern El Paso County back into Teller County and early tomorrow morning. Not out of the question to see rain change to snow across the Pueblo area by early tomorrow morning. It's pretty much all said and done early tomorrow morning around sunrise. Could see a couple of leftover snow showers across portions of the wet mountains, wet mountain valley and that will be it. Here's how much snow you can expect with this system tonight and tomorrow morning. Northern El, pa uh, El Paso County monument into Black Forest, anywhere from two to five inches of snow. North end of Colorado Springs, places like Briargate, Northgate up to Glen Eagle, the Air Force Academy, two to four inches by sunrise tomorrow morning. Falcon, I've got you in from one to three inches, so that's a crazy day. A tornado five miles south of uh, Falcon today and one to three inches of snow tonight into tomorrow morning. Far south into Colorado Springs down to Security, Widefield and Fountain, anywhere from a trace to an inch of snow possible by tomorrow morning. Pueblo just a trace, but the wet mountains back into the wet mountain valley in Sangres, anywhere from two to five inches of snow possible by early tomorrow morning. And the southern I-25 corridor, the southern foothills, Walsenburg, Aguilar, Trinidad, anywhere from a trace to three inches by sunrise tomorrow morning. Pueblo, a cold day today compared to the past couple where you're in the 80s. Today, only 54. In the springs, the high temperature today, only 49 degrees, three hundredths of an inch of moisture so far out at the airport. Outside right now, we've got temperatures in the 40s and 50s across most parts of southeastern Colorado. Here's how cold we get tonight. Teens, 20s, and even some 30s the further south you go. Afternoon highs tomorrow, much colder than what we should have for that last weekend of March. Afternoon highs tomorrow, another 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what we had today. And across northern El Paso County with fresh snow on the ground, black forest tomorrow, an afternoon high temperature of only 32 degrees. I hope you have a great weekend in Colorado Springs, tracking another weak system that comes in Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Could see a passing rain or snow shower. Certainly doesn't look like much, nothing to worry about at this point. And then we get a warming and drying trend Monday into Tuesday. A few passing showers possible by Wednesday afternoon. It'll be windy on Wednesday. And by next Friday, sunshine and 68 degrees in Pueblo still a little unsettled on Sunday as that next piece of energy pushes across the state. You could see a late day rain and then snow shower late 49 your high on Sunday. So that will be the warmest day of the weekend. You're back to the good stuff next week. Afternoon high temperatures topping out into the 60s and by next Friday a high of 74 degrees. Canyon City a similar pattern a chilly weekend especially tomorrow a little warmer on Sunday with a passing late day shower possible back into the 60s beginning Tuesday and by next Friday nice and mild with a high in the low 70s and for Woodland Park again one to four inches of snow possible by early tomorrow morning. We'll give you a weather alert day tomorrow just because I don't want you to be caught off guard. You could see some slick roads across parts of Teller County tomorrow morning.